Hey, hey, party people. Thank you all very much for joining me on another episode of Fifi Plays the Dream Machine. And in the last episode, we freed Edie from her dream, which only took one episode. So I'm pretty proud of myself for figuring all that out really quickly. Uh, because the other two dreams, uh, well, actually, the first dream didn't take too long. But Alicia's dream was extremely lengthy. So I guess we'll just find out what the other tenants are like and what their dreams are about. So let's just get into it, shall we? Picking up right where we left off. There's two sleeping old people and one dead old person. Uh, so we'll just leave, I guess. And... I only have... This is the start of Chapter 5. And I think there's only Chapter 5 and then Chapter 6. So I'm almost done. And it's been pretty fun so far, so let's just go to the top floor. Let's, let's go. Let me in now. <gasps> Finally! Hello? Hi, I'm Victor Neff, your new neighbor. Hi, neighbor. I'm Martin. I saw you guys arrive yesterday. Tell you bad about the weather. Uh, yeah, we said all this on the phone. Don't you remember? Uh, okay, no, it's fine. Uh, we seem to receive- oh, I better not tell him. Uh, I guess I should tell him. I'm afraid I opened it already. Sorry about that. Don't worry about it. The mailman makes these mistakes all the time. He's a bit of a klutz. Nice of you to deliver it. Okay, good. Well, that's one thing, one notch taken off of the to-do list. Uh, can I come in? Sorry, no. I'm busy at the moment, and my apartment is a mess. Another time, perhaps? All right. I'm just doing the rounds introducing myself. Have you... Okay, so I've asked him all these questions already, so... I guess... I'll leave you to it. And then ring this bell. <gasps> Ooh! She's home, too! She looks a bit younger um, than the rest of them. Hello? I'm Victor Neff. I just moved in downstairs. I just thought I'd drop by and say hi. All right, I'm Selma. Nice to meet you, neighbor. I don't mean to be rude, but I just got off a really long shift and I'm trying to decompress. Is it possible to continue this at another time? Of course, sorry I disturbed you. No problem. I'm dreadful. I'd be dreadful company right now anyway. Think, of the, like, think nothing of it. I used to work nights myself, so I know what it's like. Thanks for being so understanding. See you some other time. Okay. Uh, I still have the sleeping powder. Maybe I can... I can't just push it through the mail slot. He needs to be close. Okay, well, maybe I'll ring him. Nice of you to drop by. Here. Okay, well, I can't use items while I'm talking to them, so I need to figure something else out. And the only thing that I can think of that I haven't used yet... Because I've been all up and down this whole apartment building dozens of times by now, and I haven't figured out what this strange device is. Oh, and there's a, there's a gas button. Nothing happened. Okay, so maybe the strange device is connected to the gas, because it does look like there's pipes and stuff that lead around. Um, so maybe I can put the beaker in here? Oh, it's working! Something's working! Okay, I poured some powder into the funnel. Okay, right. Um, okay. I I knew that because of this book. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so powder funnel, I read that. And then powder indicator, okay, so that's full. Vent selector and gas canister slot. So maybe the slot seems to be designed to hold a cylindrical object. Hmm. It's too small to fit in the slot. 
Sofa doesn't comply with regulation. Yeah, no shit. Sir, can you help me out? I'm delivering a, a package to Felix Morton, but I can't reach the mailbox. Could you fetch Mr. Morton so I can deliver this package personally? Hmm. I probably shouldn't tell him that he's dead. And he wants to deliver it personally, so this is the only logical answer, right? It's me! I'm Felix Morton! I wish I could take your word for it, but the lyric legacy shouldn't blah blah blah. ID! Why do you need ID? Fine, I'll get your ID. I'll just go into my office right here. See, it's my office. It's unlocked because it's my office. And then... Oh, wait. Um, I guess I needed to go to... The basement. Maybe Mr. Morton has an uh, ID on him. Okay, Mr. Morton, I'm sure that you would have wanted this because you're the one who asked me to do this in the first place, so I can't believe I'm going through the pockets of a dead man, but he might have some kind of ad identification on him. <gasps> oh, I got something! A library card. A library card is an ID? Plus, he's so old. I can probably remove the photo if I peel carefully. Well, do it then. Uh, there, that did it. Uh, but you don't have a picture of yourself, so... That's awkward. <gasps> oh my god! <clears throat> I wonder, I wonder... <gasps> this fucking freak had pictures of all of us, and now I'm using it to commit identity theft! Oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> My criminal dreams are coming true! Alright, guess we'll go back. Okay, see, I told you it was me the whole time. The whole time. Sorry about the wait, I forgot where it was. May I see it? There you go. The name is correct and the photo looks like you. I guess you're Mr. Morton. Here's the package. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> it's amazing how committing crimes makes you feel so alive. Uh, let's check it out. It's surprisingly heavy. Uh, uh, I guess I'll open it. He won't need it anymore. It might be important. <gasps> A gas canister, I think. Hell yeah! This is exactly what I needed to complete this. Okay. So, logically... Who am I gonna gas? First. I think I should gas... Mr. Willard. Uh, well, he's in a wheelchair, so two. And I can only choose one number on this. So I'll click two, and then I'll add the gas canister. And then I guess I can go press the gas now? The gas button? It worked! <gasps> oh, you can see it! The 
guess. Oh, man. Well, maybe. Uh. Well, I don't fucking know. Oh, wait. I can call him. Call Mr. Willard. Maybe we can see him moving in the bottom bottom thing right there. Oh, it did work! Oh my god! Hello? Hi, it's me. Just, uh, hold on. Just don't move. Just call me Martin. No sense in being formal in this day and age. Sure, we're friends. Wait, I should have changed the camera so I could watch. Oh, damn it. doesn't reach him. Hmm, this is very strange. I guess he's going to come back now. How do we get him in that room? And how do we know which room that is? Because we've never been inside his house. Well, there's another vent. So maybe it's not Two that I have to get to? This is all very, um, uh, trial and error. Um, okay, so he's back here. Let's try again. Aha! Hello. I, yes, okay. Victor Neff, hi Victor, what can I do? Hold on, please. Didn't I just do that? I guess I can wait a bit longer. I just love waiting. <laughs> well, that's great. Ooh. Oh, is it close enough to reach him? Now fall on your face. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm getting a little bit of a power, uh, a power high from this, but, um... Alright! Knock, knock! Hello! <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, hey, what's up? A sports cap. I don't recognize the insignia. Okay, I'm just going to explore your house a little bit before I, um, uh, finish what I need to do, so. Ooh, a poster. A vintage poster. Can I look through? Ooh. Uh... This doesn't look like my house, because my house, the stove was right beside the fridge, so this is probably... Oh wait, it's across the building, it's not even in the same building. Uh, he's just a creepy peeping Tom. Okay, that's super. A futuristic cityscape. Okay, let's just stop beating around the bush and get my helmet on and get his helmet on and let's go! what I expected at all. What is this place? Well, obviously it's some kind of video game. I need to find him. He might help me lo locate the tentacle. Well, he was playing a skateboarding game, so he's probably into video games. Whoa! Okay. Is there one on this side? Okay, let's go right first, because that's the right way to go. Um, oh, 
Tetris. Uh, I hope I don't have to memorize all this. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll come back to that. Right now, I'm just going to explore the other rooms. Lift, 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 right, lift. Oh, and there's just another telescope here. Showing me the exact same things. Okie dokie, artichokey. So what I am gathering is that those symbols are going to be in this room here. So I can block the lasers. I don't have any items. What the hell? Okay, well I can't do anything in here. Um. Ha 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 ha. I figured it would be on all four walls, but it's just the abyss, so... That's quite a drop. That's quite a drop. That's quite a drop. That's quite a drop. Hello! Hello, 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 hello. Testing one, two, three! Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Check, 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 fleck, fleck, something, something. Hey, that's not what I said. Hey, that's not what I said. Hey, that's hot what I said. Hey, something, something, something. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? They call me Logan. I think that's what it says. Oh, they call us Legion! <laughs> I was way off! Um, they call us Legion. They call us Legion. For we are many, for we are many, for we are many! What are you doing down there? Find out for yourself, find out for yourself, find out for yourself! How? Jump! Join us, join us, join us! Why would I want to join you? We have something you need, we have something you need, we have something you need! Are you trying to get me to jump? No, 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 no. Then how do I join you? Just repeat after us, just repeat after us, just repeat after us what you say. Yes, 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 yes. What do you want me to say? Say, I am thoughtless in my remarks. Say, I am thoughtless in my remarks. Say, I am thoughtless in my remarks. I am thoughtless in my remarks. Say, I am insignificant. I am insignificant. I am insignificant. Say, I'm easily replaced. I'm easily replaced. I'm easily replaced. Say, I like to be told what to do. <laughs> Say, I like to be told what to do. Say, I like to be told what to do. Um, am I having a moment here with this echo? Say, I'm a worthless human being. I'm a worthless human being. Say, I'm a worthless human being. I am a worthless human being. Say, I wish to be part of something greater than myself. Say, I wish to be part of something greater than myself. Say, I wish to be part of something greater than myself. I wish to be part of something greater than myself. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's it? Aren't you gonna give me what I need? Hello? Okay, ominous. I guess I'll just... Can I touch? Can I touch them? Okay, uh, well... It looks like a heart, plus a little butt thing, and then two, and then two. So, 
Okay, so maybe on the left room, I need to find this symbol, and then on the right room, I need to find that symbol. Let's see if I'm correct in my assumption. Okay, look through the telescope. And put that dot right on that symbol. Good. Now leave. And now, on the other side... Two and two. Good. Now let's see what the other room looks like. Haha! -ha! X marks the spot, right? No? I guess I didn't do it right. Okay, well, if that didn't work, I guess I'll just try the opposite. Because maybe it's a, it was a mirror image or something? I don't know. I really don't know. Let me in. Thank you very much. Okay, and now this one is that. I think that might be right. I guess there's only one way to find out. Ah, the beams intersect. I was right. Damn, I am so smart. It's colored differently now. Press it. Ooh. Got a cube. The cube seems to pivot around the hole in its center. For a cube. 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 Okay, I'll leave you for now. Um. Maybe now looking into the... Wait, did it get darker in here? Or is that just my imagination? <gasps> hmm, this room looks different. Very good, Victor! You're so observant! Am I still in the same place? Can I jump over here? Can't reach it. Okay. So, I guess what I need to do is check out what's on this side first. Oh, a prism rod. Alright, my first item of the dream. Okay, now let's switch the cube around. Maybe that'll do something different. Let's turn it. Okay. Now it's uh, diagonal. And so maybe that'll be giving me a new path, perhaps? Nope. Maybe I'll put the prison rob here? It's too small. Maybe I'll put the prison rod in the cube, perhaps? Aha! Okay, maybe now it'll work. All right, let me try one more thing. Turn it that way again, and now leave it, and now go back to the room, and hopefully it will work.
Ah! How am I supposed to get to you? <gasps> this place has changed as well. Oh. Okay. Great. Maybe I need to put the prism in here as well. Oh, okay. I will take the take that and then I'll put this in here. With the cube. Yep. Oh, okay. Willikers! I guess I'll go this way. Woo! A gun? Okay, I do still need to continue this, though. Okay, so now it's uh, shooting that way, so maybe it will have made a path for me, perhaps. I'm afraid I can't let you have that device, Mr. Neff. Well, why the hell not, Legion? My assistant might need it on his errands. Are you the dream machine? <gasps> yes. Why don't you try and take it from me? As you wish. No, I was kidding! I was just kidding! Ah! Okay, okay! Uh, 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 I guess I should leave. Hi, bitch! Okay, unfortunately, I got myself stuck somehow, and I kept going back into the dream and getting, uh, crushed by the ceiling, and I couldn't do anything else, so I had to actually quit to the main menu, and the last time I had saved was right after I finished dispelling the tentacle in Edie's dream, so I had to do, I had to get the canister, I had to knock out Mr. Willard, I had to do all of this stuff all over again, but I think I'm finally right back to where I was. Okay, and um... I had to look it up because I was like, what am I doing wrong? Like, is there something I'm missing? I couldn't find any secret panels looking around, and I had to I had to look it up. Please forgive me. But I learned that I had to get this laser on this side, because otherwise I would have gotten stuck. See? And now it points out a secret secret. Da-da-da, still this dream machine threatening me and stuff. And now, I need to press this tile, and then do something with this. I don't know. Uh, maybe I need the prism rod on this? Well, that didn't work. Uh, can I use the gun on it? <laughs> Nothing happened. Can I use the gun on the wall? Can I kill myself? <gasps> Whoa! I'm tiny! Oh no! No, don't kill me! I'm just tiny! <gasps> oh man! Oh, there is a passageway here. Interesting. A narrow passage. I'm just big enough to fit through. Well then, go. <laughs> Stop talking about it. Whoa. What is this place? Is that a gigantic flight of stairs? How is anyone supposed to get up there? Well, maybe just 
use the gun on yourself again. Oh man, it's shrinking only? Okay, so I guess I'm stuck like this for a while. Which is just super fantastic. It's gonna take a while for me to walk anywhere. Oh my goodness! Your persistence is impressive, Mr. Neff. But I'm afraid this is as far as you'll come. This is the first room in a maze I had made to prevent you from reaching me. Beyond this room lies hundreds more. It'll, I figure it'll take years to negotiate them all. And time is running out, I'm afraid. I advise you just turn back. You can achieve nothing constructive beyond this point. Then I'll settle for something destructive. <laughs> what if I release Alicia? Will that make you leave me alone? Uh, I mean, yeah, I guess. That's tempting. Just imagine, all these trials could be over. You could end it right here and now. No more dreams. Just take Alicia and go. Uh, I'll release her unharmed. Very well, Mr. Neff. Then leave this place. Go to your loved one. Alicia is waiting for you. Um, I don't really trust you, though, because you tried to kill me just now, so... <laughs> oh, I can get bigger! How come it wasn't working before? Well, that's just dumb. Doorways are lining the walls to this room. I don't know where they lead, or how I'm supposed to get to them. Uh... You're right, this is strange. Um... Maybe I'll come back to this. Because there were... The machine is probably right. There's no way I'll get through hundreds of these rooms. I'm glad a compromise was possible. Yeah, you're not leaving, Victor. Oh, right, sorry. Gotta shrink you back down to then... Yes, I know. The scale... Yeah, I got it. So this can be big or small, depending on the size that I am. I understand, Victor. Thank you. I want to see if there's any other secret secrets around here. Y'all know how much I love secret secrets. Aha! There was a secret secret on this side. Ooh. What is this place? I've never seen anything like it. Ew, are those all eyeballs? That's really disturbing. Well, nothing else to do here, so I guess I'll go back. Hmm. Very, very intriguing. It's another shaft leading down as far as I can see. Hey, Legion! Can you help me? That's hardly a ringing endorsement. That's hardly a ringing endorsement. That's hardly a ringing endorsement. Seeing as you can't see very far, seeing as you can't see very far, seeing as you can't see very far. Legion! I had a feeling I'd be meeting you again. Uh, the anomaly remembers us. The anomaly remembers us. The anomaly remembers us. Do you have any more advice? You've come to us for help? You've come to us for help? You've come to us for help? You helped me before, right? You're not big enough to get ahead on your own. You're not big enough to get ahead on your own. You're not big enough to get ahead on your own. Well, I wouldn't put it like that exactly. Say it, say it, say it. Say what? Say, I'm not big enough to get ahead on my own. Say, I'm not big enough to get ahead on my own. Say, I'm not big enough to get ahead on my own. I'm not big enough to get ahead on my own. Say, my life is a string of belittling, belittling defeats. My life is a string of belittling defeats. Say, I'm too insignificant to rise to the challenge. Say, I'm too insignificant to rise to a challenge. Say, I'm too ins insignificant to rise to a challenge. Say, my life is but a pair. My life is what? My life is but a p 
parenthesis un in the grand scheme of things. Say, my life is but a parenthesis in the grand scheme of things. Say, I think small, but I don't... Re okay, I got it. I think small, and I don't realize my ideas. Say, I'm shallow and small-minded. Okay, okay. Are you done yet? Ugh. You already told me to say that. Even my dreams are small and claustrophobic. Yep, got it. I mean, little to other people. Okay. My life is a string. Okay. Now you're just repeating myself. I guess I'll say it. Pattern, then do you see the pattern? Then do you see the pattern? What pattern? You're not listening. I am listening. Okay, are you just saying this is kind of like... Okay, fine. You didn't help me at all. <sighs> okay, I think I'm gonna end this episode here because I have no idea what I'm doing right now. I feel like there's very specific... I feel like there's very specific, there's an order to this dream, and if I don't do everything in order perfectly, I'm pretty much shit out of luck, so I have to do this whole thing all over again. Like, I might have to look this up, because this is ridiculous. I don't know what order to do things in, and I don't know, I know shrinking and growing bigger has something to do with the puzzle that they're asking me, because... It keeps saying, oh, my items are enlarging and shrinking with me, so that has something to do with what I need to do, but I am at a complete loss, and that ceiling isn't helping anything at all, and it's kind of annoying me, um, so I'm going to end this episode here, and I'm sure we will figure out what to do in the next episode. I just might need to look up some tips and tricks because I'm very lost right now. So thank you all very much for watching this episode, and I hope you enjoyed. And I hope to see you all in the next episode. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Mwah.